Today I'm going to head out to the Scope Fortress, which is right on the Vardar River, um, right in the center of town, right next to the old bazaar, which hopefully I'll get to see in the next few days. The weather's kind of turned. It's a little bit warmer. Um, still a little bit chilly for my tastes, um, having that California blood in me. But uh, it's going to start raining later in the week, so I'm not really sure if I'm going to get out much more uh, this week, but we'll see if, uh, how the weather turns out. But let's go check out the fortress today at least, right? Oh, there's actually uh, people fishing in the river. Okay, the fortress is on this, on the north side of the Vardar. You can see a piece of it just sticking up over here and over there. It's very, very close to the river. These guys are fishing. And I've gotten the guys at the snowboard shop, skateboard shop, said that the river is quite polluted. but it doesn't stink. Unlike many of the, pretty much every river I've seen everywhere in the world, where you could just smell the river. But this doesn't smell at all. Okay. I'll turn on the camera once we get a little closer. Okay, this is uh, the north side of the river, predominantly, from what I understand, predominantly the Muslim side. Uh, the, this is the original side of the city, the actual old city, where the fort is on the north side. Once again, the, the bazaar, which is over here. Um, I did want to mention a little bit about pickpocketing. Uh, I've been saying over and over again that the, this area is quite safe. But what I mean by that is like in terms of violent crime and, and robbery and stuff like that, I always feel physically safe. But you have to be very careful in, in Europe in general, I think, from my previous travels. And in the Balkans, there's a lot of pickpocketers here and they're very good. And so what I do is I try to, uh, I carry a wallet and my phone in my back pocket, which is what you should not do. Um, but you need to watch places like the Farmer's Market, uh, probably the Grand Bazaar where there's a lot of people in tight proximity even during COVID times. You have to be careful with pickpocketers and I've had a, an instance already uh, a few days ago where the, the vendors actually, I suspect they warded off a pickpocketer from me. Um, they were protecting me a little bit here. And uh, you do have to be careful um, with stuff. So I, in my wallet that I carry, I just carry a little bit of cash. I don't put my credit cards or anything in there. And, uh, I do carry my phone in there, but I don't have an expensive phone. So anything, if I were to get pickpocketed, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. 
Uh, what is this? This is like uh, this is interesting. This is a a church, not a mosque. This is a church, and there's a mosque over there. Oh yeah, so it's like an outdoor place. That's cool. So once again, just be very cautious about pickpocketers here. There are a lot of them. Uh, I really only saw one, potential one, here in Macedonia. I didn't see any in Kosovo or in Albania, but it's also the off-season too, so they might be out in, in greater numbers when it's warmer. So let's, uh, I'm not sure how to get across. There's a big road here freeway uh, and this is still Macedonia Street it's a really old mosque you can tell the older buildings because they're lower than the street level uh, and that typically means that long time ago the street level was probably way down there and they just kind of they they build it up sometimes this is obviously a historic you know, they've got the plaque there. We can't get in there to see it, but it's beautiful. Beautiful old mosque. Actually, I think it's a mosque. It doesn't have a minaret, so it might be actually a Orthodox church. If you know, you could put it in the comments down below. Because I can't really... Oh, you know what? It is open. Or at least the uh, plaque. I'm just curious. I want to see what this is and how old. Most of the stuff is like 14th century. Uh, it belongs to type of double Hamas, male and female compartments. Uh, what is it though? Bathing areas. Marble tubs. It's a bathhouse. Wow, it doesn't give a date. Uh, it's like a historic bathhouse. Oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> I was going to say, it didn't look like a church and it didn't quite look like a mosque. Okay, let's go check out the, uh, let's go check out the fort. Okay. Not really sure how to get to the castle, but this is right on the right next to it. Okay, that's the castle. I know the main entrance, I think, is down this way, right next to this road. I saw it, but I'm not really sure if that's how you're supposed to get in as a tourist. It's supposedly open. Uh, and it's free all the time. So let's go to see if we can figure it out. I'm walking around the castle. These are modern tunnels. They're like every 50 meters maybe going inside the castle. I can't really see inside there, but I saw one of the entranceways had like a big steel blast door. So I'm wondering if these were built uh, during the Cold War era, maybe as a bomb shelter or something or a some kind of military base underneath the keep but i'm walking all the way around this castle and i can't find a way in so this is part of an old wall or buttress or maybe part of the old something tower or something guarding the road but i don't know maybe there's a maybe i'm gonna have to walk all the way around this thing maybe i went the wrong way but i'll let you know if i find anything there's another scene, another entrance. Okay, so I came up right here from the old bazaar. That was a lot of traffic. The old bazaar is down there and that's how I came up. I went kind of downhill and the road just keeps looping around. I mean, it goes way outside the city, I think. So I think if I go uphill, I should be able to find the entrance to the castle. Let's find out. Wow, it's a loud truck. 
Okay, there's a Grand Bazaar right here. And uh, kind of walked up this road, keeps going uphill. Looks like it turns up there to a park. But there are some stairs going up towards Castle. Oh, it's a lot quieter up here. It's like a park. Some really old buildings right down here. Let's check those out later. Now, there are gates and they look closed. Hello. It might unfortunately not be open, but we'll see. This is kind of cool, like an old, what is that, 37 millimeter? Oh, interesting. Oh, I gotta get a picture. Any markings? Nineteen forty-three. This was World War Two era uh, gun. I don't see any uh, manufacturer where it was made. Just nineteen forty-three. Oh, interesting. I gotta get a selfie. Then we're gonna walk up here and see there's a gate there, but there might be another one maybe on top. And I'm hoping that um, I can get in. We'll see. Well, okay, I'm up top here. Ah, dry moat. That is one sketchy looking bridge. Uh, a, I've walked on sketchier ones. Yeah, this is definitely not the entrance. They don't want people coming in this way. So let's go walk around, see if we can find another way in. Looks like people use this as a parking lot more than a park. It's unfortunate. Yeah, it looks like the road, like there's an embankment that goes up. Hopefully that's the, the way in. Yeah, it's a bummer that, you know, the parks department for Scopia don't, doesn't keep this clean or a little better. This is a beautiful monument. 14th century, right? I think it's the same time that the stone bridge was built. Uh, you can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Like I said, I didn't do too much research on this. Oh, those are nice uh, buttresses that come out holding up the wall. You could tell that they've done a lot of reconstruction here. Um, I don't know if it was damaged in the earthquake in the 1960s, but you can tell that it looks kind of haphazard some of the reconstruction and in Turkey you see this with the Great Wall um, you know a lot of money was poured into it from UNESCO and some other places and they kind of there's a lot of corruption sometimes and they take the money and don't necessarily use it for what they intended it to be used for or they just didn't have the skill set you know to uh, or understanding of how to put up a wall like this, you know, it's kind of like an art that's been lost. But let's see if this is the entrance. Well, if you walk all the way up the hill in between the Grand Bazaar and the fortress, you come to this spot. So let's see, it's supposed to be free. Let's see what happens when we walk in. I don't see anyone. What does these signs say? Oh, they don't say anything. Hello. Well, you can tell there was once a big gatehouse here, maybe. If 
that looks open or not. It looks like something they're trying to protect from the weather. Um, you know, I'm going to walk down there and check it out. I'm curious. Something they're trying to, uh, once again, protect from the weather. Yeah, you can tell it's an old tower right here. Yeah, I don't think you can get in here. Oh, wow. It goes actually down into the... It's pretty far down there. But you can't get in. Looks like maybe part of the wall. Hour maybe that's too hard to see through the glass yeah I can't see but it's obviously something very important that they wanted to protect from the elements yeah it's kind of big uh, you know what that is no let's go look on the other side this up to keep the embankment there. Eh, can't tell. It's something. Yeah, a lot of the towers look like we're knocked down. I don't know if, how significant this fortress was. Like I said, Scope, from what little I understand, was uh, a main area where the, the Ottomans controlled trade going north um, into the Balkans, you know, deep into the Balkans. Yeah, wow. And I'm sure this is an ancient settlement of some type going back, you know, tens of thousands of years probably. Um, and I suspect probably the Romans were even here at one point in time. Oh, nice place for lovers to hang out, I guess. Wow, look at that view. Gorgeous. That's too bad you can't get in, in, into any of the towers. And you can walk along the wall. I kind of want to take a look at this. Maybe a church of some kind. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, let's uh, walk down there just a little ways. Okay, I kind of walked down towards the end of the castle here and uh, wow, that's cool. Yeah, definitely a controlling point for the river. Um, there's this walkway along the city wall, and the only way onto this walkway, I think, is from the main gate. And I was kind of like halfway. I'm like, I'm not gonna walk all the way back, so I just jumped over. Oh, I could have just crawled in right here. Um, oh, I gotta get a a selfie. You have to pardon me. Not the best picture, but yeah, it looks like this fort was obviously like many other forts was used during you know all the subsequent wars throughout time, and these are modern buildings that you can even see into the wall the old foundation wall up there like pipes iron pipes and stuff so obviously it's been used and used again 
This might just be all infill as well. It kind of does look like infill. I mean, you look at the rubble inside the dirt. What is this? Oh, you can get into a tower. Oh, that's super cool. Another selfie. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Well, it looks like you could even get up here, but they kind of took down the steps. I don't need to do that. But yeah, you could see like, wow, you could even walk down there. I wonder why. I'm not really sure why. Unless this is a gate. So you would have had, if this is another gate, a walk-in gate, it makes sense you'd have, and you look at the rubble, like an old wall here. So they could shoot down at you as you're coming in. Um, yeah, it is a gate. Oh, side gate. Yeah, but underneath this whole fortress, I think, is... Don't uh, hold me to this, but I think there's a whole modern era headquarters. But yeah, it looks like you would have... You know, there's a bunch of entrances, a bunch of gates into the castle. A fortress. And I'm not really sure. Looks like they're trying to do some reconstruction stuff here. There would have been a big tower right there. Looks like a bunch of buildings, you know, barracks perhaps. Yeah, it looks like you could have walked up this way as well. But it looks like this is, you know, they're trying to do something and they maybe gave up. It looks really dilapidated, like maybe there's some money being put into this to fix it up. Oh, it's like an old tower base as well. That's pretty cool. Yeah, like they were doing something. And they gave up, and maybe ran out of money. Okay, almost at the top. Let's see what kind of view we can get. It looks like the fortress wall used to come down that way at one point in time. trust these uh, guardrails look they're not even they're not pegged in all the way ah oh, you can't get up in here that's too bad put them in a good view but yeah yeah it looks like they did some work trying to fix it up a bit but yeah it's a beautiful place an amazing view even though I can't get all the way in so there's the bathhouse. Here's the old quarter right here where um, and the Grand Bazaar is. There's the stone bridge right out here. It's not the best of days today though. It's kind of, looks like we have an inversion zone holding in the smog, which I did kind of do a little reading and they did say that this area kind of suffers from a lot of smog. So, thanks for uh, joining me on this walk. 
There's not much up here for the fortress, but if you like this kind of stuff, you gotta stop by, you gotta see it, right? At least. Now I'm gonna head into town before it starts raining, so catch you next time.